as a field. First win, I know you get that 2022 one, but on the camp, <laughs> Yeah, well, to be fair, um, it's not about me. Um, for our players, like our last three weeks, the, the effort that our players have put in um, without getting a reward, um, we've had a lot of things going on, guys going out before a game. Um, obviously, there was a, the Carlton game, we had players playing different positions, all those sorts of things that we just didn't get the reward. So I was just wrapped for our players to get the reward today. Um, yeah, so we were super excited um, with not only the effort of today, but just the reward from, um, it's been a month of um, almost. So um, yeah, I was wrapped for them. Yeah, I'm pleased it wasn't to see the, the pressure right from the start all the way through until the end. Yeah, well, we, we trained it and we spoke about it. We weren't happy with the, the way that we pressured last week. We were just a step off. Um, it's unlike us. It's not, it's not a Richmond type of game if we're only laying 30 tackles. So um, yeah, so to the players' credit, to the leaders' credit, um, they recognised that during the week and we trained it. Um, but to see him perform, and to Sydney's credit, they're very good at that. Um, it was a high, highly contested game. Um, they, they've all, that's part of Sydney's DNA, so we knew that that was going to be coming anyway. Um, but for us to go back to what we're good at, and that's pressure and intensity and um, being really hard to play against, um, which we were against Carlton at times. As I said, there was the Port Adelaide game. We just dropped away in that area, so to, to get that back, um, we're really proud of the players. Do you know what your pressure rate was? Well, last week was really low, so um, we were keeping an eye on it today. It was based around what, uh, like a differential. Um, but I know the second half, I think in the third quarter, I spoke to the players, I think it was our highest rating pressure um, quarter for the year, and then the last quarter would have went through the roof. So um, based on the type of game it was, but um, yeah, that's a, that's a standard that we want to be able to bring, bring every week um, around that type of um, the game. Um, we want it to be a, a tough, um, contested game and we want to be really hard to play against so um, that, that was really pleasing. You were able to do, oh, you you were able to do that right until the last quarter but a couple of senior players were off, Lynch and Baker in particular, are there injury concerns there? Yeah, well, Lynch, he copped a knee, uh, knocked to his knee and then uh, Bakes was just really, um, he was tired. Um, so he, he, he always cops a few knocks, but um, to be able to um, play out those last couple of quarters with some older players on uh, off the ground um, is something that we're really proud of. So we had uh, Nick Foston setting up stoppages around the back. So we know what our older players will be able to do during those um, those moments, but for our younger players to respond and and the effort they were putting on, like Morris Rioli's chase down the last quarter, um, the pressure that Seth Campbell was putting on with Ryan Mansell in the forward line, like that, that's that's the future of our footy club. So for them to be able to do that in those moments against a quality a quality team in Sydney, um, yeah, we're really proud of. Can I get you to talk a bit about Morris and his development and the instructions you give him? Obviously, a new role and he's you know, made a couple of mistakes, but he's spinning out of trouble, which a, a run down tackle, he's setting up play, he's taking it on. Can you talk about his development? Yeah, well, we know the talent that he's got. He's um, the poor kid. He works really hard and he can let himself down with, um, with the ball at times. But that's just the nature of the way that he plays. It's high energy, high intensity and high pressure. We've just got to get him to take a breath when he gets the ball. So he'll still have those moments. But what we need is what he brings off the ball. And um, yeah, he's so diligent in our team defence. Um, we're forever highlighting um, his role within our team defence, let alone what's happening around with his pressure. Um, so we love what he can bring and we've just got to coach him through the opportunities with the ball um, to get some reward for effort because he works hard every game. Um, we really missed him last week when he went out of the game pre -ga uh, um, in the warm-up. So, um, yeah, it was good for him to, to show what he can do and, um, yeah, we'll just keep working, working with him. What did you think of Thompson Dow's game? He was one of the leading clearance players on the ground. And you spoke last week about young players stepping up in those positions. How did you see that? Yeah, well, well Dow is another one that he's going through. A, um, he's getting an opportunity and that's the main thing. Well, we've got Jacob Hopper and um, Dion Prestia out. Um, so he's going to get some opportunity and there's going to be some fluctuations in his form. So he wasn't happy with the way he played last week. He was good against Carlton. Um, so there's just going to be these ebbs and flows in his game. But today was, we you know, just really wanted to back him in and give him an opportunity inside. He got pushed out a little bit last week. Um, so to give him that opportunity for him to respond, he's a terrific kid, he works so hard, but he trained it. Uh, we trained a lot of things that we needed to work on last week that we weren't happy with. And he was one that he put in the effort and he got the reward today. So. 
Um, that's, his, that's the standard that we know that he can bring. We just hope that he can do it week to week. McKelty, a couple of firsts today, uh, first couple of goals and first win. And how did you say his afternoon? Yeah, yeah, that's, that was, and the hardest thing around um, trying to find someone to sub, um, we end up subbing Kelts out, but his pressure, his aerial, um, he works so hard, he's still learning the game, and for him to get some reward by kicking a couple snags on the MCG is terrific. Um, his family would have been wrapped, um, and we just love his, con like, he's, com he's a competitor, he's, he's contest and um, air and ground, like, he's a terrific pressure player when he hits it for his size. Um, so yeah, he, he, we just made a call on um, looking after him and getting some speed into the game with Banksy. But um, yeah, we're really happy with the way that he performed today. So second game of AFL footy, and um, it's exciting. Yeah, yeah, this must be exciting because he's still so raw. He's only pretty new into the, the sport. He must be excited what he can do for the, the rest of his time. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, and I thought put him on the angle from when it looked like he got a free kick from in the goal square and poor kid had the banana it from 25 out. Um, but that's so exciting for him to go back and his first goal is a banana and from a 45 degree angle on the MCG in front of a massive crowd. And, and to be fair, our supporters were terrific. Um, but we were zero and three. Um, it's Easter weekend, but for our, for our fans to stick thick and um, come and support our players, during this time, we, we're going to have some ups and downs, but um, for them to come out today, they, they helped us in the last quarter. Like the noise in the last quarter, uh, they kicked the first two goals and there was a chance that we could roll over, but our leaders stood up, but our fans did as well. So, um, yeah, we just want to thank our fans as well for coming out today. Adam, uh, Liam Bayer is going to be a talking point sorry, among us all year with his contract status, the WA clubs coming for him, but he just seems to be handling it all beautifully and always playing pretty best to be right yeah, no doubt, and that's what we want him to do. Um, he'll make his decision and our, the club will work with him with that and we'll, we'll give him the world if he wants to stay at our footy club. But if he decides to go, well, then that's the nature of the, the game. Um, but while he's here, we just want him to play, um, yeah, just want him to play free and just enjoy his footy and make that decision um, when the time comes. So um, that's my only thing I've been talking to him about is I just want his effort to be high and just enjoy walking in the footy club and... Um, yeah, we, we love him. He knows that. Um, he'll make that decision. But yeah, the last couple of weeks he's played with some freedom, which is nice. So um, hopefully he can keep that going. He's the manager of life, you know, give him the world. <laughs> we'll give him the world. Well, he's a, he's the leader of our footy club. Um, Blair, Blair Hartley and the crew will work out the finer details of all that, um, the length of the deal, all those sorts of things. But, but what he does bring to our footy club is spirit and he's a vice captain and our players love him. So if he decides to stay, he knows that he's a, he's um, very much a player that we want to keep. So, um, but as I said, we won't we won't judge him if he decides to go the other way. Um, we just want him to um, give his all when he's here and, and make that decision when the time comes. Are you concerned about his availability for next week after the Lewis Mallet and Yeah, I didn't see the incident, but those sorts of things we'll look at obviously later tonight or, or tomorrow. But um, yeah, I haven't seen the incident. But if he's gone and done some something outside the rules, we'll um, we'll have to wait and see. But. Um, yeah, I think Mal Malik can play the whole game though, so that's a, that's a positive. Yeah, cool. So that's a good result. So um, Bakes is pretty small. Malikin's a big man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect us to get up the gallery? Yeah, they had a really good session. So we might have a couple of players available next week. So um, Jack Graham had a good session today. Dusty um, ran around and hopefully we've broken a cycle. So he felt pain free today. Um, we'll get some volume into him this week and, and hopefully he'll be available for gather round and um, Dylan Grimes will be an assess. Um, he had a session today, but he's just got a sore wrist. So, um, yeah, whether he's available, we'll find out later in the week. But we could have a couple, two or three players available, which is nice. What do you think of the Kane Corn story? He said he should retire at the end of the season, Dusty. Do you pay any attention to that? or? Oh, to be fair, I didn't read it. I didn't... Um, but yeah, Dusty's a terrific player. He's got a lot of footy left in him. I think that's a bit harsh if we're saying one of the best players in the comp to ever play the game should finish um, prematurely. So all we want is Dusty to be happy and enjoying his footy and we're trying to provide that environment for him. So um, yeah, I think he's got a lot of good footy left in him.